What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison, the original comeback, the creator of this movement, the man that's going to help you change your life. Listen, today's topic. My birthday. Yep, that's it, fellas and ladies. I'm 39 years old. June 10th, 2019, as we're uh, as I'm recording this thing for you. And what I want to talk about is is what I've not what I've done. I'm not here to brag, right? But it's really only been four short years. Sure, I've been able to come from zero back up. We make cross won some big awards financially, but I've made some huge strides to being a father. Um, you know, every day, day in and day out. Four years isn't that long of time. When you're living this thing, chasing your dreams, pushing your desire, trying to become the man you want to be, literally going all out every aspect of your life, it can get long, it can get tiring, it can get strenuous, but obviously worth it. So I was thinking back when I got up this morning, actually last night I, I, I listed out all the things I want to accomplish by 40, right? I have expectations of standards of where I want to be. And I feel like right now I'm gaining some momentum in my life so I can be able to actually fucking charge and make some big shit happen here this next uh, next year. But I was looking back, four years ago, it wasn't that long. See, what happened is June would come around, maybe like yourself, a um, little bit of ego. I, I, I never truly accepted growing up, uh, if you will. I could go out, I could do some big shit, I could make some money. I was kind of arrogant and cocky. Didn't really care. So when it would roll around June, amongst fighting just my seasonal depression, the things that I go through, I would be hit with like, hey, it's my birthday month. Then my birthday week, and then after my birthday, it's still my birthday going, it's my birthday summer, right? I know that sounds kind of lame, but what it was was the, my, the mentality that I took. When I would get there, I would feel like I owed it to myself and I deserved it to go out and do something. Like, hey, it's my birthday. You know, you celebrate these things, day in and out. And I would, I would feel like I would have to go out and I would blow a bunch of money. I would even blow off my kid. I would create hangovers for days. I live in this fog and this sedated life, day in and day out, completely destroying and running from the man that I truly wanted to be because that's what society told me I should do. That's what my friends wanted to do. So we didn't. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to fucking bullshit you. I'll be straight honest with you guys day in and day out. It is fun. It was fun. I had some great times. The ones I can remember, the ones that my friends tell me stories about. But at the end of the day, internally, it didn't jive with what I was working for. It didn't help me create big business didn't help me with this inner voice calling me to help men like you, people like you who want to change your life and had a voice and needed to get it to you. So where I'm going with this is in a short amount of time, I've been able to successfully change every habit that I have. Now, that doesn't mean that the thoughts don't show, show up. That doesn't mean that it doesn't sound nice hopping on a boat, going out, drinking beer all day out in the sun, listening to some music, you know, watching my beautiful... Uh, wife now or she'll be my wife here she's my fiance swim around her bikini get drunk go out have a good time with her watch the kids have fun I mean, those, those are all things that normal adults and people like to do right but what was for me is that what it boils down to is this i didn't earn or deserve anything a birthday was just a day that we were born and if you look at what you're here to do you can listen to that inner voice that calling that's telling you inside hey there's more you have more to leave. There's more in the tank. You've got more gas. Give it. Why are you not creating that other business? Why are you Why are you not fully, fully committed into your relationship? Why are you not leading the kids the way, they, the way they need to be led? Why are you not leading your employees? Your health is fucking in shambles. And maybe it's not. Maybe you're in good, good, good space right now. But the, this is the whole point here. Triggers, whether it's that birthday, whether it's a party, whether it's a graduation, whether it's your ego, whether it's a, just a Friday night or whatever the fuck it may be, you deserve exactly what you work for. If you want to crawl back, if you're in a spot where I was, where you had no money, everything was gone, everybody hated you, and you want to get your life back to the standards you had before or higher than it was before, you need to fucking step on the gas and you need to take off. The moral of the story here is you do deserve it. You deserve a cake. You deserve a party, happiness. You deserve whatever it is that you want. But nowhere inside of there does it say that your birthday means you should go destroy everything that you work for. It's a time right now of your life. If you can look in the mirror right now today, gentlemen, and you can see yourself and you are 1,000% content and happy with who you are, I would tell you to think bigger. Straight up. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what your body looks like. I don't care. At the end of the day, you remove all that. Who you are as a man, you go belly belly to me. I'm going to beat you every fucking time because I'm ruthless in the pursuit of becoming who I want to be. But if you're right now and you're like, dude, there's more. There's a desire. I got this fire. I know I can do more. 
It's not just about financial, but it's, it's about internally. This fucking your heart's beating and raging, and this is you who wants more. You know the answer to this. Don't let a birthday, don't let a graduation party, don't let Father's Day, don't let Christmas, don't let fucking Fourth of July, don't let anything throw you off your tracks. You are the man that is in control of your mindset. It is completely up and up to you, entirely up to you to charge, to win, to become who you want to be. So for me, today, film a podcast, go to the office, do a couple of teleconferences that I have to do, or conference calls, whatever. Go get a massage. I'm going to go rock climbing. I'm going to come back. I'm going to work on my business even more. I'm going to check with my employees. I'm going to do some banking. I'm going to focus on everything. But what I'm going to do is do a small pocket of time for myself to enjoy the day, get on a plane, head to California tomorrow, and win. Because day in and day out, this is an opportunity to live and thrive, and you get it. So what's the message today? Enjoy the fucking day if it's your birthday as well. And for me, I'll do the same. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Five minutes of fire. I'm Mark Jenison. I will talk to you soon.